The Palatinate is the largest contiguous vegetable growing region in Germany. For this documentary, we visited a large vegetable producer in the summer to show you its farm and field work. We also had the very exclusive opportunity to film at the Deutzfahr factory in Lauingen and to see one of the first 6.4 models in final assembly. Take a look at this exciting and varied short film. It's definitely worth it. The Martin Schlosser vegetable farm is located on the northwestern outskirts of Schifferstadt in Rhineland Palatinate. The Schlosser family runs the farm in its fourth generation and specializes in growing vegetables. They carry out all their field work with their own fleet, which includes the impressive number of 80 tractors. Typically, the average engine output for this type of specialist crop farming is only around 130 horsepower. The highlights of the fleet are clearly the four large Deutzfahr 8 series agricultural tractors. Manfred organizes crop production on the vegetable farm and is responsible for the machinery and the workshop. Born in Austria, he has worked for Schlosser for 34 years. He doesn't really know what a quiet period is, as there is almost no downtime in the fieldwork of this business. Manfred shows us how to sow spring onions for the fresh vegetable market. The company cultivates around 1,500 hectares in total. Most of this is used for vegetables, for which a diverse crop rotation with fallow periods and catch crops is very important. This is often achieved by leasing fields from neighbouring farms for a year. Almost all crops are ploughed before sowing, not least to remove harvest residues from the previous crop from the sowing horizon of the demanding vegetable crops. But here, they have a rather sandy site, which is well suited for growing onions. Manfred's son, Moritz, is responsible for seedbed preparation. He is studying agriculture and finds vegetable growing exciting and varied. Mounted to the 287 horsepower Deutschfahr Series 8 is a triple bed rotary hole from the French manufacturer Simon. The next step is to place the seeds in the three double beds. Manfred's daughter Marta works as a temporary driver for the company and wants to get into agriculture after spending some time abroad. A distance of 42 centimetres is maintained between the blocks to ensure good aeration of the crop. The spring onions are harvested by hand in early March. Most of the tractors used by Gemusebau Martin Schlosser are Deutzfahr machines. The company has worked successfully with the agricultural machinery dealer Petri since the 1990s, when Deutzfahr introduced its sloped bonnet design. Petri provides sales and service support for the brand in this region. And now to our next location. Agricultural machinery manufacturing in Lauingen, Bavaria, has a history stretching back more than 140 years. In the past, the factory built harvesters and combines. Today, it's tractors. The old factory buildings are still used to manufacture cabs, among other things. But when the SDF Group's new factory was opened in 2017, the company definitely opened a new chapter for the site. Of the 40,000 or so tractors that the SDF Group builds each year in its various plants around the world, around 5,000 tractors roll off the production line here in Lauing. The state-of-the-art factory floor is divided into five main areas. It starts with the powertrain assembly, where the front and rear axles, transmission and engine are assembled. 
is the hydraulic test bench. This is where the complete powertrain is tested for function and tightness before it moves to the paint line. After the paint line, it's time for final assembly. The fact that the new factory was built on a greenfield site meant that the production process could be designed according to the latest industry standards, with ergonomic workstations and short distances. In final assembly at the latest, it is clear that the machines are built to order, and we therefore see different series going through the production cycles. Here we see the smallest tractor currently being built in Laringen, one of the first of the new 6.4 series to roll off the production line. This compact four-cylinder machine has an internally built front and rear axle, and the gearbox, engine and cab are also produced in-house. Incidentally, the most popular tractors currently built here in Laringen are from the 6 TTV series. Once the tyres have been fitted, the tractors are driven over to the roller test stand for their first short run. This is where all the tractors are subjected to a simulated driving operation, which also includes a brake test. The pendulum test bench focuses on the front axle. We are lucky enough to see the flagship of the Deutzfahr range, the Series 9, at this station. The last stations on the factory floor are the final inspection in the light tunnel and the so-called finishing, where special customer requests such as wheel weights are fulfilled. It's now been almost five days since the first components of these tractors were prepared for assembly. Then the factory gates open and the logistics department takes over. The Lowingen plant currently produces nine tractor series from 130 to 336 horsepower. It employs around 700 people at this site. There are very few countries in the world where Deutzfahr or the SDF group is not represented by importers. The company's export ratio is an impressive 70%. After Germany, where Deutzfahr expects to achieve a market share of 10% in 2023, France is the next largest sales market. Particularly popular at the moment are the special Warrior models, with various optional extras and colour schemes in black, matte black, matte green and java green. then take the opportunity to try out the new RV shift transmission on the circuit track at the edge of the Deutzfahrer arena. RV shift, including an active stop function, is positioned between the RC shift manual transmission and the TTV infinitely variable drive. RV shift provides operators with a stepless driving experience as the gears shift through without interruption. However, drivers can still intervene manually and configure the transmission parameters if required. Back to Rhineland Palatinate and the Schlosser vegetable farm. During the summer, one of the first 6.4 RV shift machines was put into operation here. The modified full power shift has attracted a lot of interest on the farm, with features such as a CVT creep speed in the range between 20 meters per hour and 5 kilometers per hour. Driver Victor shifts the gears up and down using the three-way joystick on the armrest. In APS automatic mode, this is done automatically in two driving ranges. As the field work on this farm essentially continues year round, each of the tractors clocks up at least a thousand operating hours a year, with some even reaching 2,000 hours. This field of radishes was harvested by hand just a few days ago. The region around Schifferstadt is one of the main growing areas for this crop. Retailers and consumers have high standards. 
The leafy greens have to stay fresh all the way to the customer's kitchen. So radishes have to be on the market no later than the day after they are harvested. Gemusapau Martin Schlosser has a huge sales market in the Rhine-Main region, particularly on its doorstep. But they also supply some of their products far beyond the region. The large size of the farm, which stretches some 25 kilometers, has often proved to be an advantage in times of bad weather. Carrots are harvested all year round, except for a few days when the weather doesn't allow. The company has been growing carrots since the 1970s and now processes between 80 and an impressive 250 tons a day, depending on the season. Since 2005, carrots have also been grown in an organic section of the farm. Almost all of the field work is done separately for this purpose, including the machinery used. Cleaning, sorting and packaging also take place on a separate production line. For us, this video production has meant two exciting days of filming during which we took a close look at the arable farming and agricultural machinery aspects of vegetable production. We would like to take this opportunity to thank Deutzfahr and the entire team at Gemusebau Martin Schlosser for the interesting insights and information they shared with us. Visit our YouTube channel for more short videos, including on the cultivation of speciality crops.